Hi guys, it's Maka Pussy here and we're back with another song reaction and today we are doing the song Dead But Pretty by Ice Peak who I have been assured are an early 90s Britpop band who have done a Halloween themed song based on Baba Yaga. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna see how creepy is the song? Is the song any good? I'm quite a fan of 90s Britpop. I grew up in that kind of era, so there's a lot of the kind of bands that I like. I've got, I've got, I wouldn't listen to it nowadays, but I've got some nostalgic memories of 90s Britpop, except for Oasis, who I really didn't fucking like. That's never here nor there. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna see is the song any good? We're going to see how creepy is this song and then at the end we're going to put it into the emo scale and see how emo are Ice Peak with the song Dead But Pretty. I should clarify the whole 90s Britpop thing is a private in-joke between me and my Discord channel. I am well aware that Ice Peak are not 90s Britpop. Please don't come at me in the comments. It was just a wee joke. I'm pretty sure they're like a Russian punk band. Or possibly a Ukrainian punk band. Or a punk band. Maybe Latvian. Okay, this video instantly is absolutely fucked. The wee horns, the, the grun. Nah. Nah. <laughs> I feel like our vocals are too loud. Just a wee bit. This is such a weird song because, right, okay, so the melodies are quite good, right? I feel like the actual music around it doesn't do the melodies justice that much. Like it feels like two different songs stacked on top of each other. So I don't know if her singing goes with the music. Sometimes it sounds really cool, sometimes, I think in the chorus, there's, there's a bit of singing in the chorus, it just kind of goes, who uh, doesn't he, it kind of jars me a wee bit, and I don't know why. Bits of the production on it though are really, really cool. Some of it's like new metal, but done through the lens of industrial metal. I can't even, I, I can't, I've not made up my mind yet. That's 
like like right so for example i hate this but i hate like musically i like this bit but i hate all of the vocals on this section Right, see, this is the bit that was, that was annoying me about the vocals and why I was thinking I was too loud. She keeps them on ah, at the end of at the end of the words, and because her vocals are as loud, they really stand out. Also, that the guitars not coming at a fucking weird time at this bit. <laughs> As soon as I noticed it, it was all I could notice for that entire section was just that every single sound finished with a really high pitch. Yeah, and then I hate the screaming segments. But then like the pop punk section here does have a good melody, but the guitars aren't the guitars aren't angry enough. Her vocals are too loud and are too squeaky clean. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm, I'm really on the fence with that one. I feel like there's the gem or a really good song in there. Every part of it has something in it that, that frustrates me. I will say the video was quite creepy though, so it's, it's absolutely 100% on brand for the Halloween theme of what we're doing at the moment. So that's, that part's solid. For the actual song, I think the song was almost good like i almost enjoyed it but i couldn't quite get myself over that line into full-on enjoying it but the real question is though how emo was it we go to an emo scale and we go this one's actually quite easy because it's about there purely for the pop punk section it goes about there because it's not quite emo but it's fucking close it's pretty fucking close for the for the pop punk section but guys that was Ice Peak with the song Pretty But Dead. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the song. Did you manage to fully understand the anti-Russian government message that was in that song? Because I didn't. Like, I kind of got it from the video, but I didn't get it from the song itself. I've been Mark Abusi. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.